Hello everyone praise the Lord very good morning i'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate his word may God speak to us even today as we meditate his word through the spiritual breakfast session and uh, uh, God has brought us to the last day of this week i believe God has been faithful in your life and God has God was with you in everything you did so give thanks unto him in every activity you do uh, today so surely God will be very happy about you and not just that today is the 400th episode uh, in the spiritual breakfast so God has helped us to reach one more milestone uh, through this uh, backseat media so remember our ministry in your hands uh, this is a teamwork you you know you might have noticed that uh, we are doing uh, so many things through this uh, backseat media and remember everyone in the team there are people who are working there are people who are waiting for job there are people who are studying so remember all those people and may god bless them and use them and give them more talents to be useful for him we are also releasing uh, whatsapp status songs every day uh, it will be released all, uh, every day in backseat media uh, youtube channel and if you want to receive it through uh, mess, uh, whatsapp you can uh, text us your number we will be very happy to send you we are always uh, already forward forwarding all these messages to every groups you might have been blessed i believe today's meditation is from the book of acts chapter 11 verse 28 one of them named agabus stood up and through the spirit predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire roman world this happened during the reign of claudius so this man if you read the previous verse you can see that there were so many uh, prophets in jerusalem from so many prophets few prophets came to antioch and as they came to antioch this man agapus he came up and he spoke boldly about the future he prophesied about the future if you look at the current generation this event is lacking he was just go through the uh, prophecy he made he made there will be a severe famine he was very clear about it but if you, if you look at I, i i see as i see the fr- prophecies that has been preached in this generation or in our time i see that uh, they are not accurate i would say they are making the approximate guesses we can say they say there will be people dying or the, the there will be problem there will be destruction this is how we dis- the prophecies are coming if you look at the prophecies in the bible they they don't beat around the bush they are right on the point they are they are they say what god is going to do they are very open when elijah prophesied he said there will be no rain for 3 years there, there was no rain and he said now it is going to rain get your chariot and run away from here and it was raining heavily that is how the prophecy should be isaiah prophesied jeremiah prophesied all the prophets if you look at all the prophecies they were very accurate but nowadays we see that they are they are they are uh, they are not accurate and they are making guesses and say when something is happening they cut that video and say that this prophecy is fulfilled though so this man is a prophet but i believe god has been silent in our time why because god is not happy about us my dear brothers and sisters we are in a place to pray for our generation our uh, our, our pastors our prophets prophets should be rising up in these times in this end times we need people to rise up and speak boldly about the word of god to to re- receive the revelation from god and speak it out boldly we need people like that so our job is to pray for intercede for these people god has been silent nothing should hinder god from speaking to us So my dear brothers and sisters pray for your pastor pray for the so called prophet you know so pa- pray for the man of god you know pray for fellow believers our generation should receive the clear word from god amen